In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the use of intraocular OCT as well as an additional tip I find helpful in secondary IOL or intraocular lens exchange surgery. As you can see in the OCT images on the right, this lens that's in this eye is tilted. The superior scan demonstrates the horizontal uh, OCT scan and the inferior scan represents the vertical scan. As you can see, the IOL is tilted. As I depress on the inferior edge of the IOL, you can see in the inferior OCT scan that the lens tilt goes away temporarily but promptly returns once I release with the Kuglin hook. In this case, there was significant zonular dehiscence inferiorly with scarring of the IOL capsular bag complex inferiorly due to a previous open globe injury that had now healed. Therefore, the decision was made to remove the entire IOL bag complex and replace with a secondary scleral glued IOL. After removal of the IOL and placement of the secondary scleral glued IOL, the first tip is demonstrated here. I take the tire off an iris hook and then pierce it with a 26 gauge needle. Piercing it allows me to much more easily place it on the haptic, thus securing the leading haptic in place while I position the IOL and get the trailing haptic through the sclerotomy. The use of the iris hook tire to secure the leading haptic has been described before but I find that piercing it first with a 26 gauge needle makes it much more effective in its serving its purpose. Here you can see the IOL leading and trailing haptic now secured with two iris hook tires, which I then remove prior to insertion of the haptics into the partial thickness scleral grooves. Here the lens looks centered, straight, and ready for closure. However, with the use of intraocular OCT, once again, we can see that our secondary IOL also has some tilt to it. And the scans to the right, we can see that superiorly, horizontally, as well as inferiorly, vertically, the lens has significant tilt. In this second tip, I'd like to demonstrate how using the live OCT scanner can help in finalizing the position of the IOL. Here I was adjusting the nasal haptic, but the lens still has significant tilt. Now you'll see me adjust the temporal haptic, and the tilt on the right goes away. I've positioned it, but there is still some tilt, so I will reposition this haptic once more and pull the haptic further into the scleral groove. And once I'm complete, you can see that the lens no longer demonstrates any tilt. The eye is now ready for closure of all wounds.